<laughs> Today we're talking about the Samian Cine Lenses. Let's do this. Is that a cool intro? That felt like a cool intro. So about two weeks ago, uh, I went on a shoot for a little horror short film, like a one day shoot in the evening and brought my C200 and all my stuff and lights and gears. And they had this kit of lenses, the Samyang, 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 Samyang lenses. So I got to use them because I mainly have zoom lenses, which are okay. The job kind of came in last minute, so we didn't have the time or budget to get like a nice set of prime lenses. So I just shut up in a day with my zoom lenses and they had one of these, which I was very surprised because I heard of them, never used them, and I just kind of ignored them. By using them, I was very surprised with the results, uh, especially the 24, 35, 50, and 85, because they're 1.5. I was incredibly surprised of how much you could get out of such a small, simple set of lenses. So I couldn't help myself, and I bought a similar kit. I bought them used because I'm not made of money and I had to do a little, a little care. I got to use them yesterday on a little shoot that I did with my friend Jairo and it's just so good. Obviously I used them on the short film before and now just using it again, but having them myself and just using them with the idea of like testing them out. I want to do a little more testing uh, depending when this video goes out. You might be able to see other testing that I did with them, but I was surprised. I was happy about the results on this. This kit, I think brand new, costs about 2,800 pounds. I managed to get them for just over a thousand pounds, like a thousand one hundred, a thousand two hundred, something along those lines. But I didn't get the 24. I got the 14, 50, 85, and 35. The reason why is because the guy selling didn't have the 24. I'm gonna get a 24, I just don't have it yet. But they are just the most incredible pieces of glass you ever seen. You see how it's heavy duty. The glass looks really good. Uh, these are EF mount, so they work really well with my C200. So my goal with this was to really scale the quality of the work that I'm doing. I want to focus mainly on documentary and uh, narrative work. And for that, I felt like Prime was the kind of only way to go. I wanted to, I've been thinking about getting a set of Prime lenses for a while. But considering how much cinema lenses cost, I thought it was going to be a while before I actually went anywhere. And I didn't want to get to just whatever cheapest set of lenses I could find. Getting to use these beforehand was really what tipped me over the, the edge. What really got me to wanting to buy one of these. So if you're interested in getting a set of these, I would recommend you either renting it out first doing a little shoot and see how you feel about it. Uh, because of the GH5 being really bad at loud focus, I've always been really good at manual focusing. Uh, the C200 is amazing with out of focus, but I, especially for that kind of work that I want to do, uh, having a follow focus and like working this manually and be able to go into like T1.5. That is very, very shallow. And that is, it's butter. I still need to find my way around it. I'm used to doing things very fast and working my way through the shoot in a very fast pace. And obviously using prime lenses can slow you down slightly, but I think they will help me get a, a stronger, more stylistic type of filming, I would say. I have a very cheap follow focus 
because I got them a long time ago and I never changed. But now getting these lenses, I will probably be updating for a nicer fellow focus. Nothing too fancy, or maybe too fancy. Maybe the, the wireless one. I was lucky enough that this came with a case. You can buy these lenses separately and obviously they won't come with a case, but I would strongly suggest that you get a case because literally carrying glass very expensive glass as well. So you wanna make sure you have a nice Pelican case that will take care of your lenses. I think it's something that really gonna improve my filming and my style. Uh, particularly the 35 has been incredible. Uh, it's definitely the one that I used most yesterday when I was doing the tests. Understanding its limitations and its strengths uh, will help me kind of cater to them a little bit more. I tried to use the 85, but I noticed that the distance wasn't exactly what I was looking for. While the 35, I could get very close to the subject. So I almost got better close-ups using the 35 than I did using the 85. I think it's all about getting used to it and kind of finding my way around it to know when to use each lens. I've shot with many different types of prime before and but usually those environments are very controlled i'm looking forward to using these in a little more chaotic environment and seeing how they will deal with it and how well i'll perform with them i think by putting myself in those conditions will help me become better at uh, this beautiful craft thank you for watching i hope this was helpful informative or entertaining if you're looking to get yourself some of these I would recommend, depending on the work that you do, if prime lenses, not just prime, but manual prime, even the aperture in this is manual. So that's something that I personally really enjoyed. Uh, if it's something they're into, I would definitely recommend trying these out first and then getting them for yourself. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.